Hi, I'm Serge Massis, and this is my book, Interpretal Machine Learning with Python. It's a comprehensive overview of machine learning interpretability methods. And it also has remedies for interpretability issues, namely having to do with fairness, accountability, and transparency, and all the related issues, you know, robustness and so on. And so that's partially what makes it special. The other one is there's a lot of value for money here. It goes for a lot of different examples, real world examples, hence in the title, that's what it says. And it's, uh, that's, that's part of the reason why it's this thick. It's 700 pages long, but don't that, let that discourage you. It's shock full of features. There's, as I said, a lot of value for money here. So I'll now uh, show you the ebook version so you can be more informed based on that. This is a little harder to, to, to show. Yeah, so this is the ebook. And uh, well, I, I'm gonna skip ahead to the table of contents. And you'll see that uh, the, the book is divided into three sections. The first section goes through like the most basic concepts of interpretation, interpretability, and explainability. Um, and it also explains why does it matter? You know, what are the, what is the reason behind interpretation? Why is it so important? Um, then the key concepts of interpretability, um, and uh, which will be used throughout the book. And then uh, interpreta interpretation challenges. What makes it so challenging and why is it not, is it normally an afterthought in machine learning um, and uh, why it shouldn't be? Um, it also uh, goes through different intrinsically um, interpretable methods. Um, you probably heard of uh, in linear regression and decision trees and so on. So it will, if, if you're not, well-versed in machine learning from the get-go, uh, the book starts to you know, go through a lot of basic things in machine learning. So even though it wasn't designed as a machine learning, uh, you know, basic uh, foundational book, it, it can be because of that. Uh, followed by that, there's the mastering interpretation section, which goes between chapter four and chapter eight. So it's, it's five different um, chapters devoted to uh, different interpretation methods. So you see uh, what is called local interpretation, global interpretation, uh, model specific, model um, uh, agnostic as well. Uh, the model specific normally is devoted to uh, deep learning. So there's a couple chapters devoted to deep learning. I'm sorry, it actually goes from chapter four to chapter nine. Um, and, um, and so, it, it does a whole lot in, in, in chapter four and uh, chapter eight is devoted completely to convolutional neural networks. So this is the computer computer vision based issue. Uh, chapter nine is for recurrent neural networks. So it's, it will teach you some methods for recurrent neural networks. Uh, and, and throughout the other chapters, it also uh, has some deep learning in it. It's just not, um, uh, you know, convolutional neural networks and recurrent neural networks, uh, which is more more specialized. Uh, if it, again, if you don't know what these concepts mean, the, the chapters start by explaining some of those concepts, not in a huge amount of detail, but they do. Um, and also, there there is some theoretical foundation in the book, even though it's more like geared towards practice. There there is some explanation of theory as well, um, and then. Chapter three, uh, section three, which goes from chapter 10 to 14, is about, you know, once you've looked under the hood, if you find something that's not working, how do you fix it? So that's that's also very important. Uh, so it teaches some methods having to do with that. Uh, this in particular is a very important chapter, bias mitigation. Um, and then uh, also in the same spirit, monotonic constraints and monotuning for interpretability will also teach you how to mitigate bias, but using completely different tool set. Um, and then adversarial robustness is also one of my favorite chapters and is devoted to how to make sure that the model doesn't get tricked. And that's very important. Even when someone is not out to trick your model, it, it, 
model, if the model is not robust, it's going to be also uh, vulnerable to noise, uh, whether intentional or not. And that's not something you want. And so um, I highly recommend looking into this chapter too. The last chapter kind of gathers my thoughts and, uh, and it, as far as the book goes, what was learned, it kind of wrap things up and then uh, what's next? How, how does interpretation, interpretability uh, kind of connect to everything else that's gonna go on moving forward in machine learning? Um, so it kind of explains what's the vision, you know, uh, for the future of machine learning. Uh, now I'm just going to scroll through some of the uh, books so you see, well, there's a lot of images um, and there's a lot of uh, code. Uh, some have more than others, but roughly code occupies about half of every chapter. Um, and uh, I, I suggest that you, when, when you're going through this book and trying everything, you, you take the code from the GitHub and, um, and, and you just use this as reference as you're as you're running the code you know um and uh yeah the, the code is is annotated very well throughout the book and more importantly than anything it has the outcomes you run certain code it shows you what it's supposed to be uh generated from that code be it a plot be it a table what have you it will explain this is what it was supposed to output and this is what that means and that's what the interpretation as a skill is is all uh, all about. It's all about uh, interpreting those outputs, uh, so you can take action on on what you saw, and that will inform your decision making throughout the modeling process. Um, so there's a lot having to do with that. Um, yeah, and uh, it's it's as I said, a very visual book. And uh, there's a lot going on here. Um, I'll show you some of my favorite stuff. Uh, when we're already talking about convolutional neural networks, it's a it's a fruit example. So it's about classifying fruit, uh, which is a very difficult problem. So it, it explains how it works. And here you see a CNN. How does the CNN work? Um, and then what what happens under the hood? What what is happening in the convolutional neural network? And, and, and you know, what can we learn from different methods of interpretation? So it's, it goes through a lot of that. There's also um, tons of different methods that can be leveraged to, uh, for different use cases. And, um, you know, hopefully throughout the book, you start learning what these, how to apply them to your own use cases. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully uh, once you get it and, and you go through it and you have any, um, you've, uh, you've kind of absorbed what the book has to show you, you can apply it to your own use cases. And um, yeah, uh, feel free to reach out. I'm, a, I'm, I'm very reachable. Uh, once you buy the book and, and you're, you're in the, and, you, and you find any, any questions that aren't answered by the book, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to help anybody. Uh, I'm very passionate about this uh, topic. Uh, so um, I'm always happy to talk about it, you know. So uh, hopefully that gives you an example of what the book is about, uh, well, an idea of what the book is about and why it's worth purchasing it. As I said, it's there's a lot of value for money. You know, most machine learning books, I mean, some even advertise as being short, uh, you know, 100 pages long or 200 pages long. And they'll just give you like a very general overview, you know, but the fact of the matter is that machine learning is not a simple topic. Um, it's not as simple as it seems. And uh, if you want to make high performance models, it, you, you really have to get your hands dirty on, you know, real data. Uh, real world data, which is what this book tries to do. Um, this book does not uh, use any toy data sets. So when I say toy data sets, I'm talking about um, MNIST and Titanic and, and how Boston housing. 
those those data sets are really nice as benchmarks, but they're 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 too clean. You know, they're they're too finessed. They're they're not what you find when you when you're on your first data science job and you're trying to um, you know uh, figure things out. And if you're already an advanced practitioner, you'll find plenty of stuff, you know, new stuff here because it's based on the most recent research. Uh, all the research in this book is at least uh, no no more than four years old. Um, so hopefully uh, you can uh, apply it to your you know your your current work as well. Uh, well, thanks and bye.